Branch coming to you on a very special day for me. Tomorrow is Janice and mine's 31st wedding anniversary. Now, I want to tell you, God has done some incredible things in our lives in 31 years. In fact, when we got married 31 years ago tomorrow, neither of us were Christians. And God has turned our life around in an amazing way. I cannot begin to tell you all that God has done. Now, it's not always been a sweet road. We've had some difficult times but God has changed our life, and I'm telling you, it is amazing what God has done. I just, I'm just, I'm just uh, blown away that 31 years could pass. We have two wonderful children, a daughter 29, a son 27, uh, going to be 28 in February. I mean, we're just blessed above measure. We have our problems like everyone else, but we have been blessed, and thank God for the blessings He's provided. You know, I want to give you a story very quickly on this week before Thanksgiving. Because in Luke chapter 5, there's a story about Jesus coming down to the seashore and his disciples are out in the boat and they're washing their nets and they come in and they're laying the nets out to dry and all of that good stuff. They'd been fishing all night and they didn't catch anything. And those of you that are fishermen, you can understand the frustration in that. And as Jesus is down there, he says to Simon Peter, I want you to launch out into the deep and let your nets down again. Now Simon Peter was an expert fisherman. He said to the Lord, you know, we've toiled all night long and we didn't catch anything. Nevertheless, Peter says, at your word, I'll let the net down. And the Bible said there were so many fish in it that his boat almost sank and he had to call for help. Then he recognized he was in the presence of the Lord. There's a very interesting point to this story in Luke chapter 5 that might deal with you today. You see, Simon Peter had been working all night and he was tired. He had to stretch those nets out and had to clean those nets and he was weary. And then the Lord come along, an itinerant preacher, and said, Hey, let me tell you how to fish. Well, there's one thing that Simon Peter knew. He knew how to fish. The Lord said, Go on out there and let, it, let the nets down again. Simon Peter said, Lord, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you, but I'll let a net down. Not nets, not plural, just one. I'll give you one. I've got the rest of them stretched out. Now, the text is very clear on this. Simon Peter let a net down, and the fish were so many, his boat almost sank. I'm talking to somebody today that you're saying to the Lord, I'll give you some of me, but I can't give you all of me. I've got bad habits. I've got worldly ways. I've got challenges that I just can't let loose of. You see, Simon Peter said, Lord, I'll give you a net, but I won't give you the nets. You see, God wants all of you. He just doesn't want a part of you. Oh, you say, but you don't know how I worry. No, maybe not, but God does. You don't know what I face. Eh, you're probably right, but God does. Let me tell you, in 31 years, God has changed our lives unbelievably. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, we have already come. God has done incredible things in our lives, and we've not always been perfect. But I want to tell you one thing that's important. God wants you to be committed to Him. And give what you have to Him, your abilities, your vulnerabilities, your talent, your desires. Give to Him and He can use it. Simon Peter was tired. All of them were tired. And Simon Peter said, Lord, I'll do what you say, but I'm going to put only one net in the water. It's amazing what God wants to do in your life and mine if we'll trust Him with everything we've got. You see, sometimes we get weary when bills get short and tired bodies get long and we get weary and we don't want to go on. We want to find other ways to accomplish our needs or solve our problems. But God works it out. Folks, it made no sense for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to go into a fiery furnace and walk out. But God did that because he was in the furnace already. Some of you are facing that fiery furnace and I want to tell you God's on the inside. He wants to help you. I couldn't imagine 31 years ago what God was going to do in our lives. There was no possible way that I could imagine that. Hundreds of people saved. Thousands of lives changed. Janice and mine being the greatest of those lives. It's incredible what he did. God wants you to cast the nets out into the deep. Into the waters. Where you might have to wait a while to get the answer. But God has it for you, my friend. On this week of thanksgiving, be thankful unto him and bless his name, for he knows what's best for you. Thank God we have a shepherd that cares about the sheep. That's the best news I can tell you today. I want to remind you of something. 
Where God guides, he provides. Simon Peter was honest and said, Lord, we have fished all night. We have toiled all night, and we didn't catch anything. But I'll give you a net. The Lord says, Simon, do you love me? Yes, Lord, I love you. Then do what I tell you. Folks, I want to say to you today, if you love the Lord, do what he says. He'll take care of you. I'm living proof of it. Through many mistakes, many challenges, God has still taken care of me, and he'll take care of you. I want to tell you, there's a better person in you than you think there is. You rock on. God will take care of you. God bless you. We love you. Goodbye.